HCM Image 49 is the first image to utilize People Tools 861. Several of the People Tools feature uptakes in HCM center around PeopleSoft Insights, making the analytics more accessible to users. HCM delivers the Insights Catalog Tile and Navigation Collection, enabling authorized users to go to all HCM Insights dashboards from one central location. Additionally, the Search Administrator can now hide the Time Picker as needed when importing Insights dashboards into the PeopleSoft database. Administrators working with Fluid Work Centers can navigate to Insights dashboards specific to their job under My Insights. In this image, embedded insights are available in the Benefits Work Center, the Global Payroll Work Center, the Time and Labor Work Center, the U.S. Payroll Work Center, and the Canadian Payroll Work Center. Now when you perform keyword searches using Global Search, the system displays content reference long descriptions in the suggestion search and global search results, providing additional details about the entries. Prior to 861, the results displayed the folder name of each entry. The Accessibility button is a new addition on the Fluid banner. It allows users to enable screen reader mode if they missed it from the sign-on page, view keyboard shortcut information for PeopleSoft applications, and view additional accessibility help content configured by administrators. For more information about the features and functionality delivered in PeopleTools 861, watch the PeopleTools 861 highlights video from the PeopleTools page in the PeopleSoft information portal. This completes the PeopleTools 861 updates feature description. PeopleSoft Human Resources now provides access to a collection of analytics to help oversee and manage employees' onboarding activity guide processes. Administrators and managers can now see the overall status of all onboarding activity guides, observe how long it takes employees to complete the onboarding process, and oversee activity guide processes that have been in progress for extended periods of time. They can also monitor processes and steps that haven't been completed by designated due dates. The Administrator's Dashboard also pinpoints how individuals are progressing by displaying current step statuses for all the onboarding processes and showing how long it has taken participants to complete different steps. This completes the PeopleSoft Insights Dashboard onboarding feature description. PeopleSoft HCM continues to provide enhancements on designing and displaying your employee headers. Now you have control over which name type to display for your employees. In addition to the standard employee name, PeopleSoft HCM now delivers the formal name and display name fields, allowing you to show a more professional name or the more casual preferred name for your employees. You also have the option to show labels alongside the employee field values. When you preview the header, you can review how it will appear in standard mode and in screen reader mode. In this example, the screen reader mode is configured to show the labels in the header. This completes the configurable header enhancements for self-service feature description. Now, with Image 49, employees will not only provide their legal name, which would be used for official purposes, they can enter preferred first, middle, and last name, which will be used as the display name on most PeopleSoft pages and reports. Administrators will use the Name Format Types table to configure fields for both formal and display names. By default, both the formal and display name sections use the same fields. However, administrators have control over which fields to include and the formatting for each name type. You can also utilize formal and display name group functionality. 
When activated, you will distinguish fields exclusive to the formal name and preferred name sections. PeopleSoft HCM also delivers several new preferred name fields. If your organization uses other terminology such as chosen or lived name, you have the flexibility to rename label descriptions. With these configurations in place, employees can easily manage their formal and preferred names from personal details in self-service. This completes the preferred name feature description. PeopleSoft HCM delivered fluid leave donations, enabling employees to donate, receive, return, terminate, and view a history of their leave donation transactions from desktops, laptops, and tablets. In image 49, you can now view these transactions on a smartphone. The Time Dashboard now includes the Manage Leave Donation tile. The Manage Leave Donation page displays the Donate Leave and Receive Leave Donation tiles initially if you haven't submitted any leave donation transaction before. The Leave Donation History tile becomes available after you've received or donated leave time. The Return Unused Leave and End Leave Donation tiles are displayed if the employee requests to donate or receive leave after the absence calendar is finalized. Use the Leave Donation page to add new Leave Donation requests or review existing requests. Review the details of a request you created, including the request history and approval chain information. You can request donated leave from a leave program for yourself or on behalf of another employee using the Receive Leave Donation tile. Add a request to receive a leave donation or update existing requests on the Receive Leave Donation page. The Leave Donation History tile appears after you've submitted a request to either donate or receive leave time. Use the Leave Donation History page to view the history and approval status of your leave donation and leave donation receive requests, as well as edit any saved requests. The information you see varies with respect to the type of request and status of approval. If you have donated leave that you didn't use, you can return it using the Return Unused Leave tile. If you have a recurring donation, you can end the recurrences at any time using the End Leave Donation tile. For more information, please see the Fluid Leave Donations video feature overview on the PeopleSoft Information Portal. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Leave Donations on Mobile Device feature. The Configurable Time Summary feature enables you to navigate seamlessly through different sections in the Fluid Timesheet, like Time Summary, Payable Time, Leave or Compensatory Time, Exceptions, and Absence. The configuration uses the classic configuration on the Time Reporting template except for the Absence events. The Time Summary tab shows the total number of hours worked. The Leave or Compensatory Time tab shows the balances of leave and compensatory time as of the date you chose on the timesheet. The Absences tab shows you the absence balance details. The Exceptions tab enables you to examine and manage exceptions by providing options to review, allow, or remove them. The Payable Time tab lets you review details of payable time after online rules have been applied. This completes the Configurable Time Summary to Fluid Timesheet feature. Administrators can now insert attachments into incidents in Health and Safety. Use the Incident Attachments page to add files like doctor notes to incidents reported for employees or view existing incident attachments. Administrators can edit the file descriptions or delete the attachments that they uploaded. This completes the View Health and Safety Incident Attachments feature description.
PeopleSoft HCM delivered Fluid Business Objectives in Image 47 to provide users a modern and intuitive user experience for creating, managing, and viewing business objectives. In Image 49, the system introduces two enhancements to support managers working with business objective documents. Managers can now publish their in-progress business objective documents directly from the document page or continue to submit documents to administrators for publication, a functionality that exists today. Besides publishing documents, managers can also cascade business objectives to performance documents of their teams. The Cascade Items action is available as a section-level action for published business objective documents. On the Cascade Items page, select Business Objectives from the section to be cascaded, Enter parameters to identify target performance documents and Cascade Process Settings. When the process completes, the Cascade Item report is available for review. Use the ePerformance installation setup to enable the Publish and Cascade Business Objective functionality for managers and specify notification settings. This completes the Cascade and Publish Business Objectives feature description. PeopleSoft Benefits delivers three usability add-ons to Fluid Benefits Enrollment, enhancing the employee's overall user experience. You can now control the location of the Submit and Preview and Back to Top buttons for Fluid Enrollment. For the Submit and Preview buttons, you can now decide where they should be placed on the Enrollment page, either the bottom of the page, the Enrollment Summary section, or the upper right side of the page. Benefits administrators can also configure the Back to Top button. This is especially helpful if you have lengthy enrollment pages. For example, you can continue to show the Preview and Submit buttons in the Enrollment section and not use the Back to Top button. Or here, the Submit and Preview buttons are at the upper right and the Back to Top button appears as you start scrolling down the page. In this example, all three buttons appear at the bottom of the page. You can mix and match the placement of the Submit and Preview buttons with the Back to Top button. A third frequently requested enhancement is to display the prior year's annual pledge for the flexible spending accounts and health saving accounts. Employees can easily see what they pledged for the current year as they make their next election. This example shows the FSA election page. The wording is controlled by text catalog, enabling you to make changes for your organization. This completes the Benefits Enrollment Usability Enhancements feature description. PeopleSoft HCM Recruiting Solutions continues to deliver enhancements to improve the applicant experience, including the ability to see the next review date on the job search page. Many of our customers will do a bulk review of applications at a specific time, especially for continuous job openings. This date helps the applicant to understand when the next review will occur. This information is also available on the My Favorite Jobs page. To enable the display of next review date in Candidate Gateway, recruiting administrators must enable the next review date option on the Site Setup page. Recruiters provide the next review date on the Job Posting Information page. The system automatically calculates and displays the days till next review or the recruiter can pick a specific date. Select the Primary Posting Destination checkbox to show the dates on the job opening page. PeopleSoft delivers another enhancement to Candidate Gateway, enabling applicants to save or print their submitted application. This option is available under the Actions list on the Application Summary page. Selecting this opens the Application Report in a new browser tab. 
The header section displays the organization's details. To configure these details, use the Configure Print Details link on the Site Setup page. This opens a model that allows you to enter your organization's details. This completes the enhancement descriptions for recruiting. PeopleSoft now supports COBOL tracing for the identification phase. The Detail option lets you generate a more detailed trace of specific programs for payees you identified in the summary run. When you select this option, you'll see the Trace Program Selection and Pay Selection group boxes. The Trace Program Selection group box lists programs that correspond to the Identify phase only. You can choose to trace a specific program or all programs. Enter the pays that you want to trace in the Pay Selection group box. This completes the Global Payroll COBOL Trace Tool Enhancement for Identification feature description. PeopleSoft Enterprise Components adds the Change Tracking Analytics Dashboard for administrators to view the history of changes by product, component, record, field, and user. The Changes by Product visualizations display the number and names of the products that were changed, as well as the change counts. Select a product to filter by product. The Changes by Component visualizations display the number of components that changed, their names, and actual change counts. Use the Changes by User visualizations to view the number of users who made changes, their names, and the number of changes they made. The Changes by Record and by Field visualizations provide a listing of changed records and fields. Select a specific row to filter the change detail grid. Use the Change Detail Grid to identify the user who made the change, the before and after values, the mode of entry, and the date and time when the change was made. The Transaction Identifier shows the key values of the record that was changed. This completes the PeopleSoft Insights Dashboard Page and Field Configurator Feature Description. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft Update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.